Hello guys, this time we've got um, a review of Batsugan Exalable. This is the brand new shoot 'em up on uh, XR Arcadia. Uh, this is a, a sort of remake of the original Batsugan, plus it includes all the original modes and everything. So we'll, we'll put a credit in. So, you got a choice of three modes. You get the original arcade mode, the special mode, which has basically made the four loop special into one loop and the EXA mode. In the service menu you can unlock the four loop standard special version which um, is not unlocked by standard. So we'll go for original and we'll go through each game. So if you hold down start when you select the game you get a choice of uh, scan lines on or off. We'll turn them off for now. Uh, you've got the voices which are like an extra and you've got the original arcade music, you've got the Saturn music track and you've got the EXA arranged music. You can use any of that music on any of the different modes. Um, as you can see as well, they've added very nice gadgets at the side, which tell you um, basically your levels, how, your, how big your counter is, your score, your metrics on the game as well, how many bullets you fired, enemy count. Tells you the boss names, tell you the music track, and it gives you the rank of the game as well. See, this is essentially three games in one, uh, with the new EXA mode giving a lot of really new features. I'm no expert on this game, but it, it is considered the first proper bullet hell game. It's a really good arcade game, uh, and definitely a nice one to have on EXA. So I'll give you an idea of what the differences are between the modes, but like I say, I'm no expert on this game, so I'd probably get a few things wrong. So this is the original one. You get On the original one, you had the choice of three characters, and I think these are the player two characters. They're pretty much the same, they're just different pictures. When I first started this up as well, the scan lines weren't correct, and we tried it on the TV and the scan lines weren't correct either, but I had to go into the EXA menu and change the monitor setup to get the scan lines perfect. So I changed them to the arcade cab I'm playing on at the moment, changed them to a diamond black monitor and uh, it's fine. So, with this game, you uh, you basically just got fire you and you got bomb, pretty simple really. Uh, there's a small amount of bullets. I say this is the original version of this game. Just nice to have the original version. Uh, this original version is the same difficulty as the original arcade one. Uh, what you'll find is the newer modes step up the difficulty to be the difficulty on the, um, the extra loops. So there's a lot more bullets on screen and there's a lot more sort of suicide bullets and stuff going on as well. You do have a couple of options to fire. There is an auto fire option, and there's a tap fire option as well. And you got your normal smart bomb, which is that. In this game as well, that um, you basically level up. It's almost like an experience point. The more enemies you kill, uh, you can level up. Plus, there's a little uh, like pig icon you can float over the top of, which will level you up even more. There's there's three levels to the uh, ships in this as well. Obviously, each consecutive level gets harder and harder. And then uh, this game does loop four times. And each time it loops, I'm pretty sure it cuts off a level. So, like, when you get to the second loop, you don't get level one. Third loop, you don't get level two. And the fourth loop, you don't get level three. I think that's what it pretty much does on the extra loops. So, we'll bomb it. I'm not sure if there is a chain count in this or... The I'm not entirely sure, but I know you've got to collect the V icons, which are like the little medals. You collect for extra points, you get the big and the small ones. As you can see, this is, it's got some lovely pixel uh, graphics in this game. Uh, another thing that Exa has managed to do as well, is they've managed to get the input uh, latency down on this to one frame, which is pretty much faster than the original arcade version. So it does, it does feel really nice and tight to play. I say, I, I've got no way of testing that myself, as you know, to confirm that it is one frame, but um, 
like all the X uh, shooting maps, uh, they say they're a one frame. They all feel really tight to play, really nice and tight. So, what I'll do is I'll kill myself here, and then we'll go on to the other modes. This review will be uh, super long, I was. I say the special version of this game added some uh, extra features and it fixed a lot of bugs and stuff. Changed the colours and are on the backgrounds. I'm not. I don't know whether it did anything to the loops. It may have. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. So we'll do one with the scan lines on. I'm not sure how the scan lines are going to come out on um, YouTube because it get messed up. But we'll try it just in case. So what we'll play is. If you push, uh, we'll play the four loop special version. Say this version is not unlocked by default. You've got to go into the service menu and unlock it. I think the reason for this is that um, operators don't make much money off this when they do the four loops, because people just basically do the four loops and then they, they do score attacking and they, they hog in places. So they, they condensed it down to one loop for the extra version, which is quite nice actually, because you can play it at the higher difficulty straight away. So now we've got the um, Sega Saturn music. So we'll pick a different ship this time. Okay. Each ship's got a different firing. She is considered pretty much the best. When, when she gets to the top level, she gets like a homing firing, which is really good. Uh, the other guy's got a really good spread weapon. So as you can see, some of the colour palettes have been uh, swapped on this. I say I'm not a, no expert to know exactly where all the changes are between special, but uh, I know special is is considered to be the better game. Kim does have uh, some nice music as well. I mean, um, all three soundtracks is really good. One thing I will say about the music in this game, the X, the new X arranged music, is very faithful to the original, but um, it's better than the original. It's really nice, the X music. They've done a really good job of it. Say with this version as well, plays pretty, pretty amazing. Plays very nice. As you can see, the colour palette and everything has changed on the boss as well. It was like a blue colour. Then another thing with this game as well is some of the bosses you can blow up parts of the bosses for extra points. What you'll notice with this version as well, it'll keep like at the rank at the moment, it's on rank 19. And it'll keep the rank like the original one, so we've got up to 12. On the um, the new version that they did, condensed it down to one loop. As soon as you hit this level, you're on rank like 34. And then it, it, by the end of it, you're ranked up to level rank 50. So uh, you start getting a hell of a lot more bullets on screen. And you start getting the uh, suicide bullets and everything. I think this the colour palette on this level looks a bit better. Say so Batsugan, it, it, it is a classic. Here's the pig icons. If you, ho if you hog over these, I think you may get points for that one, but uh, some of them will extend your um, your bar. That little plane, if you kill it at the end of the runway, you get, the, you get like bonus points. There are little secrets in this as well for extra scoring. One of the bosses that you can milk the boss for loads of points. I don't really know how to do it and I've never tried practicing doing it. It's pretty much the third level boss. You can leave a load of enemies stack up left and right on the screen. And uh, what happens then is you use a bomb to blow them up and you get like loads and loads of points. See at the moment I'm still only on rank 19. I 
I like it gives that little gap in the bullets, you just basically go on the other side. Might as well kill myself on the next level as well. So you can see that things have changed on the side, so I'm on rank 25 now. You see the difference when I play the one, the new version of the special mode. So he's just jumped up 32 now, so now you, we're getting a lot more bullets now. So, let's kill myself a minute. You do seem to get like a little shield as well. I'm not sure if you get that when you level up. You get like a one-hit shield. I never really noticed that on the sat version, to be honest, but... So this is available to order at the moment or off Exa. And their shipping is uh, usually pretty fast from what I'm told. Um, I will say now, th this is not mine. Uh, I'm literally just borrowing this unit, so um, I'm not reviewing this from a point of somebody who owns an Exa. And I'm, I'm not going to go into the pricing of the Exa either because at the end of the day, it's not a home console, it's an arcade uh, unit, it's, it's not, not a consumer company. unit. So, price doesn't you know it, it's, it's not going to be a price the same as a home console so we'll go into the special the new version of the special condenses the four loops down to a single loop special dash, or special dash as they call it so we have the, uh, the third one I do like this game a lot as well. I really love the Saturn version and the arcade one. So he's got different five in again now. So you've got like a focus five in or an auto fire version, so you can just tap it like that. His um, wide five is very good. Like I say, it just starts off like the normal loop on the standard game. And then it starts ranking up the levels pretty fast. It's nice that they've included all these different versions and these different versions of the soundtrack as well, which is really good. So I'm at the rank 12 already, yeah. past the first level. Now you're going to see quite a big difference in um, difficulty. So th this mode is essentially the same as the four loop mode, except for the fact they've condensed everything down into one loop. I quite like it actually. It's it looks like there's a hell of a lot of stuff going on, but it's good for practicing. I found after playing this this version and the X exclusive version and I went back to the standard arcade one that I did the first loop reasonably easy. So basically you can stay here and then get him right in the end, that's it. I got the extension points then. Say there is. I, I'm not sure exactly where all the little secrets are for the extra points on this game. I can see the enemies are checking out. Um, you'll see it on you now. I'm at the rank 45. As I die, Shuri. I'll bomb it. Uh, so basically. Loads of revenge bullets now. You have to deal with all this. Yeah, 
So that's the special dash mode. It's pretty much the same as the four loop mode, but like I said, they've condensed it down in. There is only one loop now, but high, much higher difficulty level and the, the rank goes up a lot faster. So now on to the star of the show is uh, the EXO mode, which has got quite a lot of changes. The EXO mode is really good. I found myself going back to that quite a bit. So if you all don't start again, I'll turn the scan lines off this time. We'll have the extra range mode and we'll leave the voices on. So the first change that this has got, your normal firing, if you hold down fire, you get a slower, your ship slows down for small dodges in bullets. So that's quite nice when you've still got the auto fire button as well. So that works. And you've still got the normal bomb. But now they've also added bullet grazing. So the closer you get to the bullets, see the bullets like highlighting colour? The closer you get to the bullets, you can graze them and you go up your level faster. So in the difficulty is a lot higher in this, but you, you gain levels a lot quicker by grazing bullets. Only problem is when you die, uh, you go down the level. So it's like risk and reward. The other thing you've got is the counter on the side. You get a counter as high as possible. We'll go up to 9999. The uh, higher the counter is, when there's a lot of bullets and stuff on the screen, if you bomb, it'll suck loads of medals from uh, the enemies. Come on! And that's, that adds, that's the scoring of this version. So you've got a much higher difficulty. You've got much higher ways of getting score. Like I'll show you the slow. If you tap it, I move fast, like that. If I hold it down, I move really slow for bullet dodging. So the idea in this, I think that they want you to bomb quite a bit. Literally, it's to get that counter up and start scraping the bullets to go up a level and then bomb to get loads of medals. It's quite an interesting mode and the, the new uh, mechanics are really good. And there's, uh, from the start, you can see there's loads of revenge bullets. This mode gets really tricky. <laughs> I think it gets pretty much much harder than the original mode. Which is, which is what you want if you're really good at this game. So I'm up to level 2 already. The thing is, you don't have to be super close to the bullets to graze them. As soon as they change that colour, you know you're, you're grazing the bullets. I'm almost up to level 2. So, now I've got uh, a counter up to 999. I'm going to wait until there's loads of bullets and then I'm going to bomb. It's also leveled me up. See, it's good to use your... Um, your bomb on the bosses. Like I've got good score now, but I found bombing him at this section doesn't give me many um, medals. And you got the revenge bullets, but lucky enough they don't get it. I <laughs> for quite a while I thought that those bullets actually do kill you, and I was dodging them, but they don't. So my counter's back up now. So I need to find a place where I can uh, do a bomb, which I just messed up. <laughs> uh, that's bad. Let's see if I can recover. So as you see, then I died and I went back down a level. So. Where the other versions, you don't go down the level. So even though you can uh, go up levels pretty fast than this, you can you can go down them reasonably fast as well. As you can see, it's uh, a fair jump in difficulty.
Well, I go to the round the world. Ah, oh, the enemy's turned up there. Nope. Tell him I'll give this one more little go so I can explain him a bit more and then uh, we'll do it. And then we'll finish this review off. So this this some really nice extras they've done to this extra label version, this extra only version. I, I really like it. I like the idea that you can slow down to dodge bullets and um, the bullet scraping is quite interesting and the level up and down is also quite interesting. I can see once uh, some of these really good players get their hands on this is what sort of scores and difficulty you can get this game up to. I think even people that uh, could fall loop the other game will, will find some challenge out of this the extra difficulty levels. Which is exactly what you want from a, a new version. No way you get level two on the original version. I know. You're up to 45% uh, percent of the rank, which is pretty much the difficulty on um, the first game on level three. Well, I say the dash version level three. It's a really nice pixel uh, artwork on this. Oh, then get some extra level up. Uh, uh, oh, I should let uh, Scarlines on. Scarlines look pretty nice as well, to be honest. Like I said, they didn't, they didn't look right before when I first played it. But I think the monitor wasn't quite set up right in the exit. What we'll do, we'll um, top this review off. We'll see how far I can get. On this extra version. Yeah, I got a bonus, nice. But using your bomb is definitely integral to scoring high in this version of the game. And to be honest, I, I like the higher difficulty, I think it's pretty good. My rank has dropped quite a bit, but. So that's interesting. So basically, bombing also drops your rank. I didn't realize that. Okay, I didn't realize it actually did that. Yeah, it does. It definitely drops your rank. Interesting. So, you, so if you want to get the rank up high, sacrificing score, I suppose, at that point. Unless the uh, accounter and the medals take into account rank as well on the score table. I, I'm not sure. I don't mean the score table. Into the score in itself. You gotta watch this as well, being on the side of the screen and moving moving towards uh, the side you can get trapped quite easy in this world with the amount of revenge bullets and everything basically gives off. 
So now I'm up to the level where um, I've got the homing shot. Say on the other version, there's pigs at that point. Damn. Oh, watch out, the firing changes on them. I'm actually saying potato. Potato! So, my rank, my uh, level has dropped now, if you've noticed. But oh, my rank is quite high. Go past it. Is it. This level comes up to this next where a lot of people on the boss do a lot of, do the hogging trick. But like I said, I, I don't really know how to do it. Okay, so I want to use my bomb now when there's a lot of stuff on screen. I think this extra mode is pretty good fun to be honest. If um if I owned this and it was mine, I played playing this extra mode quite a lot. Right, so um Batch got an extra, what would I say? Um well this is a pretty excellent shoot 'em up and a very, very good package. Uh you say you get the original, you get the original four loop and you get the new uh, one loop version of the original. Um, you get the three different soundtracks. You get very nice input. Um, it's literally hardly anything, so you'd, um, it feels really nice to play. Say, as X say, it's twice as fast as the arcade one. I say, I've got no way of proving that. It's got uh, nice uh, gadgets. The Exo mode, I think, is really good. Um, definitely for the people out there who are good at the other modes the extra mode would be uh, very good for them because uh, it's going to be a significant challenge especially when it, it comes to working out the scoring with the bombing and the low in the rank and getting the rank up and the counter and everything um, all in all I, I think this is a really nice package I do like the fact that they added scan lines and you can turn them off in the service menu if you want to or you can turn them off by holding down start I like that they've done that um, so altogether, this is a very nice package indeed, and it is pretty much the ultimate way for playing uh, Batrugan now, I would say, because you've got the originals and you've got the new versions, and you've got the new arrange mode, which you can't fault. Like I said, the game is two players as well, I forgot to mention that, as most shmups are, but most people would never play two player on But yeah, they say it, you know, if you if you go own an Exa and you're, you're looking for the next shoot em up um, I think this is definitely well worth picking up, and if I had an Exa, which I don't, and I was looking for the, the next game to pick up, I would be picking this up. 
So anyway, guys, that's um, Batshuga next label. Uh, very good indeed. Uh, really nice uh, conversion of the arcade and really nice new modes. Definitely uh, recommended. So I shall um, catch you next time on the live streams. So bye now. Exciting.